Hi, I'm Glenna Tabor, experienced educator and passionate hydroponic farmer with years of experience teaching students, training teachers, and being an instigator of fun in mathematics. I'm sharing what I know with you. Please subscribe to my channel and we can have fun and learn at the same time. Let's snap to it. Hi, I'm Glenna Tabor, experienced educator, instigator of fun and learning, and passionate hydroponic farmer. I strongly believe that what a learner can obtain in hydroponics will change their life. So let's go over the steps of what I would do if I came to your learning environment and started to set up a hydroponic system. Step one, you need to look at the outcomes and the objectives for the science, the technology, the engineering, and the math for your learners. And I have to tell you that if you didn't find one, which you will find so many, go and look at those videos, you will find them, you're growing your own food. That's a huge objective. They'll learn how to use all the skills to grow their own food indoors, which means they can grow food year round. Number two, watch some of the videos from the Hydroponics in the Classroom series and see if that's the hydroponics system that's right for you. Then you'll go to number three. <laughs> Visit hydroforfood.com and look at the components that I suggest you have for a hydroponic system in your learning environment. Number four, look at that list of components. Is there anything that you have that you could repurpose, such as a shelf, a wire shelf unit, or a tote, a low profile tote? You can repurpose that and then come in under budget. Then think about those components that you may not have and create the budget for that. The next thing I would do, <laughs> go to Hydroponics for Food and take the course that I direct. It will give you all the background knowledge that you need. It will help you along the way. And if you take the course, then you'll be able to start and stop and learn more about how you will teach hydroponics to your learner. Plus, Hydroponics for Food has a module that's all about hydroponics in the classroom, designed just for you with lessons just for you. As I'm taking the course, before I order the rest of the components, I would order what's going to be needed to start the hydroponic system. And that would be your seeds and your grow trays. I would make sure that I know how to germinate seeds. I have some ideas. Watch my video. There it is. <laughs> watch the video on germinating seeds. And watch this video if you want to learn how to take a plant from soil, small seedling from soil, and put it into your hydroponic system. Let's start those. Up next on your list, you're going to order the rest of the components or repurpose the rest of your components for your hydroponic system and have it ready. Which system do I recommend? I recommend and feature the deep water culture system because that is the one that has been most successful in a learning environment. After you set up the deep water culture tank, you're going to be setting it up on a shelf system and you'll need your lighting. You'll need to be thinking about lighting. So what lighting do you purchase? If you're not taking the course, go to Hydro for Food and look on the Hydroponics for Food resource page and it will make some suggestions of what lighting I would order. Up next is mixing your nutrient and having that ready when your seedlings are ready to go into the deep water culture tank. You'll also need your pH balanced water so that you can mix the two so that the nutrient is not as dense as it would be for a more mature plant. Wait for your seedlings to be ready and watch the video on transferring seedlings so that you can put them into your DWC tank. And now you're going to watch the daily monitoring checklist video so that you know what you need to be looking for Plus, there's some troubleshooting in case you run into some challenges. Now, you're checking on a regular basis. You are learning with your learners. 
and you are eating the results of all the amazing learning that you are doing in your learning environment. I'm proud of you for making that choice. Happy Hydroponics.